Magic, trusted by nail experts. I've prepped my nail and now what I'm going to do is apply the extra bond primer on the natural nail, just tapping and if there is natural nail on the free edge, you can do it in there. And while I'm waiting for it to be absorbed, I'm going to apply a form. When the form is where it should be for a stiletto nail, we are ready to apply the flawless bond base. Picking up a good amount of gel and applying on the whole nail, rub it in. Now we cure this base gel in a 36 UV lamp for 2 minutes. If you have a 27 UV lamp, you need to do 3 minutes. If you have your LED lamp, then 1 minute. Let's now continue with natural peach camouflage gel. And I will first put my gel, put my bead on the stress zone move to the very edge to the tip of my future nail and because this is a self-leveling gel it's easy to sculpt a nail really quickly no matter if it's a short or a long nail Make sure that the sides are straight. The guideline on the form will help you. Like this. And the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna add a little more gel in here. Stain away from skin, make sure you do not touch the skin and this gel's soft texture makes it easy not to create any bubbles at all. So that will be our first layer and then we cure that for about 15 seconds and pinch pinch I have to put my pinching clamp on making sure it's all nice and straight and then put it back into the lamp this is what you should get nice straight line and everything we need to do is just to build the rest of the nail let's do it and do not rush to remove the form too quickly in case if your side walls and side in here is not straight or even, so you can add a little bit of gel later. Taking a little more gel, placing on the stress zone, Moving to the left. Moving to the right. Almost like building on top rather than sideways. Like this. A little more. Again, very easy to sculpt because the gel allows us for an easy sculpting because it self levels. Okay, that's enough for now. I will flash cure this step. So after flash curing this, 
I need to make sure that the sides are nice and that there is enough gel for me to file. Fill in any gaps. And the same thing on the other side. When the shape is all in place, I'm going to cure it completely one more time and then we will go and shape the nail. Now that I have my beautiful nail sculpted, I'm going to go and shape it and then I'll return to you and we will do the most amazing winter design. Okay, here is my beautiful stiletto. It's going to be sharp. For the design purposes, you can obviously shorten it, round it, but in order to make sure that this is a strong nail, in addition to your stress zone, you have to have this beautiful curve in here. It cannot be flat. You should have that C curve right to the tip. See? Otherwise, guess what? It's going to break. Now, let's start with the design. Oh, stiletto, one of the most feminine shapes. Don't you think so? The first gel that I'm going to use is called Pastel Sky Blue and this is from the Tube Top collection. And that's gonna go on my tip. This. and I'm just going to basically fade it up. And I'm not too worried about perfect fitting in here. You'll see why a little bit later. Now make sure that this is covered here and the other side is covered really nicely too. So one coat and flash cure. Next color is going to be from the mini skirt collection. It's called Tropical Rain and it's a beautiful, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue sparkle gel. Like this, very pigmented as well. And Heat it up. We do not want to cover too much of the pastel sky blue, we just want to have this amount. And flash here. The next gel is called Mystique Topaz and this is a gorgeous brown multi-color sparkle and we need some Christmas tree branches on our nails, so let's do it. So with this color, I'm just going to make some background for the branches. So the first one will go in here. It's a lot easier later to draw them once you have that background. And at the same time, it makes it deeper and more interesting. This is going to be number two. It's going to go in there as well. And the third one is going to be smaller in here, like this. And uh, flash cure this step. I was flash curing my blue sparkles just because of myself. I'm afraid to touch it like that, right? If you do it on a client, you do not have to flash cure this uh, step with the tropical rain. Now let's do some mixing. In order to create a beautiful green color for my Christmas tree branch. I'm going to take Neon Lime number 10 from the Bikini Collection. We all know that it's really hard to have all shades of green because this is not the most popular color. So this is what we do in order to custom mix anything that we desire. So that's it. Here is my grassy green. Now, additionally on my palette, I'm gonna need the texture white 
you see why it's called texture white, right? And let's do some blending. So now I'm gonna need my perfect one stroke brush and I will first dip it into the green I created, basically equally on both sides. And you see um, the very tip in here has nothing. So those bristles will go into the texture weight. Not too much, okay, there. And now I'm gonna do it on the pink so you can see the blending in proportion. So that's what we need to get. So go ahead and do it a couple of times. I would even say four times or so. And once you have enough gel on the brush, we'll continue. So what I want to have is enough gel on my brush. So I'm going to pick up that gel that I need. I will be using tapping motions for my uh, brush. And on the very tip I still have to have white. So I'm going to dip those, I don't know, three four bristles in the texture white. See? To get that tip there. Now let's continue. So what I'm gonna do now is to take my brush and actually go like this, tapping. Okay, once I don't have enough gel in my brush, I'm gonna go and pick up more. The first one. Make sure you leave some space in here in the center for now. Second one. And my last one. like this. Now we need to flash cure. After flash curing, I need to add second row of the branches. There you go. Like so. And this second row should have white slightly brighter than the first one. This will give you the dimension. There you go. A little more in here. There. And last one. Don't need as much green at this point. And I want to separate this guy from the top one. There you go. Nice and fluffy, isn't it? And I still see some sparkles. My top of sparkles underneath. This is what makes it interesting. Now let's flash cure this step. And if you're due to a client, it doesn't move anywhere. So there is no need to flash cure. But because I'm doing it myself, I will flash cure and then continue with the next thing. Now I've got another gorgeous color which is yellow gold. This is a metallic tiny tiny sparkles gel and I will do details with this one. So I'm going to pick up a little bit on my brush, the creative swirl brush and I'm just going to add a bit here just in between my lines. That's gonna give it even more interesting dimension. But do not overdo it, please. Just here and there. Like this. Like that. Okay, 
flash cure this right now. Now it's time for my beautiful breaking top gel because the rest of the design will be on top of the gloss. Okay, cover the whole thing. And cure in a UV lamp for two minutes. Let's wipe the dispersion layer off, making sure that there's nothing sticky left on the nail. And then we will continue with the rest of the things. So ready to add some snow. Let's go with the iridescent snowflake glitter. This is iridescent fine glitter. And just pick up a little bit on your brush number five, Stunning Flowers, and just tap here and there. We just need to be able to see it under our design later. And a little more in here. Okay, so let's flash cure this one. All right, this is flash cured and now I'm gonna use my perfect one stroke brush and pick up a little bit of texture white on the very tip. Like this. And I'm gonna add something for my beautiful future ornament. So we need to decide how many we need to have on the nail and then start with uh, the details. So I'm gonna have one in here. I'm gonna press and move so I have almost like a small petal. And go in here. Then I'm picking up a little more again. Just a tiny bit. Even less than that, sorry. Like so, right? And then I'm gonna go underneath and create almost like a bow. See? Same on the other side, go a little lower into the center, like so. And then the second one is going to be in here. So I'm just going to continue with the same thing for the second one. Then after that, it's still not cured. I'm picking up a little bit on the very tip again same texture white and holding oops and holding my brush straight I'm gonna go like that and same for the second one like this now the details with the yellow gold this is where it comes in. One, two, and flash cure now. Now from Lady in Red collection, I'm gonna need the Christmas red sparkles and the garnet wine, darker version. So, picking up a little bit of the Christmas red and placing it under here to create a circle. Like that. And do the same one for the second and flash cure. My two ornaments are flash cured now and this is where cornet wine comes in. I'm going to do a darker outline to create depth to it, like this. Same thing on the second one. Flash cure it now. Now on one of the ornaments I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow gold 
because I want to mix it with the diamond fiber builder. And now taking the diamond fiber builder, adding it on top like this, just a bead. And then with a small brush, Creative Swirl, I'm just gonna mix them in there. So it's gonna give me that nice gold shimmer that I need for this one. I'm gonna create a circle and flash cure. There you go. Now just diamond fiber on top of this one. So there is a, a 3D effect. Like this. Flash cure. And after flash curing, I'm gonna need another bit of diamond fiber right here on top as well to make it three dimensional. Okay. Now remember, we put iridescent snowflake glitter right in here. So I'm going to put some diamond fiber for some raised effect in here. You'll see why in a second. Just try not to touch the ornaments that you've just created. And in there. And now flash cure. So, and then I'm going to need a little bit of my diamond fiber in here as well. Like so. At this point, I'm going to cure for two minutes. I need to wipe the dispersion layer off. My diamond fiber pieces. It has a great shine, so there's no need to do any top on it. And let's do details. First, I'm gonna add some snow with the texture weight. Taking brush number five, stunning flowers and dipping the very tip. Picking up a little more and now look what I'm gonna do. On those spots where I put diamond fiber, I'm gonna go like this as if there is some snow in there. And because diamond fiber gave me this raised look, it's gonna look so nice and real. Same thing here. And like so. With double zero creative swirls, I will add something interesting to my ornaments. Just basically something on top to make it more interesting. Just make sure you do not cover the whole ball that you created. Like that. And a tiny bit in here. There. And the same thing on this one. Um, see, when you have that little piece in here, it's not going to help. So make sure you kind of warm up your gel on your palette and then once you pick it up, it goes into a nice tip. Press, move and release. Same 
same here. Press, move and release. Press, move and release. Another one. Warm up the drill, pick it up, press, pull and release into a thin line, like so, much better. Now that this is ready, all the details are in place, we will flash cure that in a second. It's just I want to add some wind in here. I'm going to go and pick up the texture weight on my Creative Swirls brush. And with a lot of pressure, I'm going to go in here and create that kind of snowstorm effect. And to make it interesting, obviously I need to do another color, which is the yellow gold. And this is the best color for this effect just because it's a metallic gel that has extremely fine glitter in it. Just gonna go and press in again. Repeat the lines. Cutting through my gel, if you see. And then you will see how this will continue on the nail here and so on. Make sure you never miss new tutorials, deals and giveaways. Subscribe to Magic Gel System on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube and always be the first one to know. Thank you for watching and have wonderful holidays!